Up until 1988, the League of Women Voters was the impartial, nonpartisan sponsor of the presidential debates. But the Democrats and Republicans wanted control over these debates, so they teamed up to create a private corporation called the Commission on Presidential Debates. This commission gave the Democratic and Republican parties the ability to control the debates and to silence political opposition. When the commission was created, the League of Women Voters immediately withdrew its sponsorship of the debates. In the League's own words, the demands of the establishment parties would perpetrate a fraud on the American voter. In 2012, I was arrested, along with my then running mate, Sherry Honkala, for trying to enter the campus at Hofstra University where the debate was being held. That the American people actually deserve to hear choices which are not bought and paid for by multinational corporations and Wall Street. Ladies and gentlemen, you are obstructing the vehicle of pedestrians and traffic. If you refuse to move, you are subject to arrest. Remove them, bring them back to the rest. Come on, man. Stand up. Stand up. We'll help you. Come on. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Okay, this is what democracy looks like in the 21st century. Um, I'm afraid it's going to take some some politics and courage here to get our democracy back. So more to come. So you're taken away, Dr. Jill Stein, um, from the Hofstra campus. Where did you and Sherry Honkala, where were you taken? We were taken to a dark site where nobody knew where we were, an unmarked uh, facility that was basically being run by, I think, Homeland Security uh, and the Secret Service and local police. We were surrounded by, according to Sherry, who counted them, some 16 um, uh, uh, police and uh, colleagues, and handcuffed tightly to these metal chairs for about seven hours. Seven hours? Seven hours, until the debates were long over and everyone had gone home. And if I don't get on the debate stage, you can bet I'll be outside Hofstra University again with my new running mate, Ajamu Baraka. We'll be demanding real democracy for the American people, and that begins with opening up the debates to include all candidates on the ballot, because the American people not only have a right to vote, we have a right to know who we can vote for. We're done being deceived. We're calling for a real debate run by an impartial group that isn't controlled by the major political parties or the special interests that control them. Here's how you can help me get on the debate stage. Go to jill2016.com slash debates. There we've listed the many ways you can get involved to transform our political system, starting with targeting the most prominent event of the election year, the presidential debates. I'm Dr. Jill Stein, and I approve this message.